The life of Bishop John McNabb was and will always be a great gift to so many people. And though he lived for 90 years, the separation caused by death is still a loss, a painful loss. By the Lord of sea and sky. Welcome and condolences as we gather to remember and celebrate the life of this great man, Bishop John McNabb. Some of the last words to me on my visit with him while he was still in and out of conscience were this, get me out of here. I'm ready to go. When is the funeral? Give me some water. This one I like. He said, I got everything under control. Now that was Bishop McNabb. And he concluded by saying, I'm not in any pain and thank you. His thoughts expressing acceptance, anticipation, fulfillment, and gratitude. A moment like this is indeed a striking, enlightening, a deeply reflective opportunity to give thanks and to recognize how important John was in the lives of each and every one of us. So while we do mourn his loss, we also give thanks and celebrate his life. The words of St. Paul to Timothy that we heard this morning are now John's. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. And so we remember and we celebrate the life and legacy of Bishop John McNabb, a family man born in Wisconsin, educated at St. Thomas, an Augustinian school in Rockford, a son, a brother, an uncle, an Augustinian, a priest, a council father at Vatican II, a bishop, a founder of a diocese, a pastor, a teacher, an administrator, a friend, a man of faith, a man of hope, a man of heart, a man always searching for God along the journey, even when the road led him where he did not plan to go. May his restless heart now find rest forever in the arms of his loving and merciful Father. You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. I will go, Lord.